What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today I'll be breaking every Apple product that Apple still sells from worst to best. This video is all just my opinion, so let's get started. Number 48, the Apple Watch Series 3. The Apple Watch Series 3 is the oldest Apple Watch, which makes sense why it'd be really high on the list. But this Apple product is much worse than you think it is. Well, it has 8GB of storage. While that may be more than Apple Watch competitors, it is very low to Apple standards, especially because of how revolutionary the Apple Watch is. Most of the time, you will not even be able to update because of the low storage amount. And speaking of updates, the Apple Watch Series 3 will not be getting WatchOS 9. Apple products are known for longevity, being sold the longest. The Apple Watch SE is a much better buy because it's a lot faster and comes with 32GB of storage and will be supported for more years yet to come. Number 47, the Apple TV HD. The Apple TV HD has been sold at 7 years for the same price. Yes, I do not count the remote redesign. Maybe faster than an average TV with an OS already built in and a better experience. I just don't see any reason why you should purchase this. And yes, it will be getting tvOS 16. And the fact that the Apple TV 4K released in 2021 is only $30 more, you get longer software updates, 4K, color ballads, and faster process. 46, the Apple Pencil first generation. While the Apple Pencil 2 is not supported on the base model iPad, Apple still has the Apple Pencil 1. I personally do not like the way that I have chargers, and Steve Jobs would not like this at all. How are we going to communicate this? We don't want to carry around a mouse, right? What are we going to do? Oh, a stylus, right? No. Who wants a stylus? You have to get them and put them away and you lose them. Yuck. Nobody wants a stylus. Number 45, the Mac Pro 2019. The Mac Pro 2019 is just overpriced because Apple used Intel chips and AMD GPUs. If you're looking into buying a Mac Pro, the Mac Studio would be the way to go instead of the Mac Pro. 44. The Mac Mini Intel Core i5. This Mac Mini is more expensive than the M1 Mac Mini. That means it must be better, right? No. The M1 Mac Mini is better because it's faster and does not need a fan. 43. The iPhone 11. The iPhone 11 has a large notch and is the oldest of the iPhones. I also do not really like the design and the colors. We also do not get 5G. Although that may not be a big deal, it will also be the first iPhone that Apple currently sells that will not get software updates anymore. Every, anyone looking into buying the iPhone 11 should consider the iPhone SE 3rd generation. Number 42, the MacBook Pro M2 13 inch. Long story short, the M2 MacBook Air is a much better buy. Want the longer story? Here you go. I do not know why this product even exists to begin with. It uses the Retina design fit on the M1 MacBook Pro with a touch bar instead of function keys, 720p webcam, no Mac, safe, and not Pro. You're basically overpaying for the Red Pro. The things I mentioned earlier all exist on the M2 MacBook Air, which is just $100 less. Number 41, the Pro Display XDR. The Pro Display XDR is just pretty pricey in my opinion, and the fact that the $1,000 stand is sold separately doesn't change my mind at all. Number 40, the MagSafe Wallet. The MagSafe Wallet is just overpriced for what it is. If it had a U1 chip, sound, basically a built-in AirTag, it would be a much better buy. Number 39, the MagSafe Duo. Personally, I would rather have bad cable management than paying $129 to have them combined. Number 38, the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. This iPad Pro may have the M1 chip, have the fanciest screen on an iPad, but it's just way too big to be a touch first device. If you're considering to get this as a laptop, I would recommend the M2 or M1 MacBook Air much more. Number 37, the MacBook Pro M1 Pro 16 inch. It's too big in my opinion, not that portable. I don't really like large laptops. Number 36, the MacBook Pro M1 Mac 16 inch. Same reason as the MacBook Pro M1, except that it's a little bit more powerful. Number 35, the polishing cloth. While this product was a meme, it was kind of funny that Apple sold a polishing cloth to begin with. It does clean my screens really well. I will give Apple that. Much better than a normal microfiber cloth. Maybe if they just made it $10 cheaper, it would be much higher on my list. Number 34, the MagSafe battery pack. The MagSafe battery pack had a pretty bad launch. It is nice that we do get a bigger battery. I mean, iPhone 13 and iPhone 12 have good batteries already. I don't think anyone really needs this, except that they have an iPhone 12 mini. Number 33, the iPhone 12 mini. The iPhone 12 mini doesn't really have good battery life, and it's just a very tiny phone to begin with. Number 32, the MagSafe charger. The MagSafe charger is Apple trying to put their MagSafe technology on the iPhone. The fact that this may replace regular charging may be scary in the future, if Apple really wants to remove the charging port. 31. 
the iPad 9th generation. The 9th generation iPad doesn't support the 2nd generation Apple Pencil, and it has an old design, it also has an A13 Bionic chip, so it's just basically a bigger iPhone SE 2nd generation that doesn't make calls. Number 30, the iPhone 13 mini. The iPhone 13 mini is just too small for me. Number 29, the iPhone 13 Pro Max. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is too big for me. 28, the AirPod 2nd generation. If you have not used spatial audio, this will probably be higher on your list. Spatial audio is really magical, and these AirPods do not support this, unfortunately. If they did support spatial audio, this probably would be higher on my list. Number 27, the Magic Mouse. I daily draw with the Magic Mouse every day. Although I could use a different mouse, I use it inside a Final Cut Pro to scroll through the timeline. And no, I will not be bringing up the charging port because the battery life on this mouse is actually really good. It lasts months, and I can use this mouse for multiple hours at a time. I would rank this mouse higher if I could left and right click at the same time, which is kind of needed in the game. Number 6, the iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 doesn't have cinematic mode. Still a pretty good phone to get. Number 25, the iPad Air M1. The iPad Air is the best iPad for everyone. It has the M1 chip, so that means you will get a lot of software support with it. Number 24, the iPad Mini 6. The iPad Mini 6 is the smallest iPad, so it's easiest to touch. If Apple put the M1 chip in here and kept it at the same price, it would immediately be the best iPad ever. Number 23, the Apple Watch SE. The Apple Watch SE is the best Apple Watch for most people. It is priced really well and a total steal in my opinion. Number 22, the Apple TV 4K. The Apple TV 4K is the best TV experience that you can get, and it's honestly too fast, especially for what it's priced at. It is the best TV ever and it really ties into the Apple ecosystem. Also the fact that you can use a HomePod as a speaker makes this a very good deal. Number 21, the Magic Trackpad. I'm gonna put this down. This is a really good product for desktop computers. You get the MacBook trackpad on any Mac or iPad. If you're a Windows user, you may be confused with why this is lower than the Magic Mouse. Well, guess you'll never know why the MacBook trackpad's really good. Hint, it's patented by Apple. Number 20, the Magic Keyboard. I think that's a little bit better now. The Magic Keyboard is the best keyboard I have ever used. It is built into all the MacBooks, and you can get it for any Apple computer. It provides a very comfortable typing experience, the best I've ever had. Number 19, the Studio Display. Its studio display is pretty reasonably priced. You can get center stage on any map. You also get a nice monitor and it updates for some reason. Number 18, the iPhone SE 3rd generation. The iPhone SE is a great phone. I could definitely daily drive it. If you do not care about the screen or face ID, you can definitely see this as a good phone. Especially if you compare an Android phone that is a little more expensive than the iPhone SE. Number 17, the AirTag. While people unfortunately use the AirTag to stalk, it is still a really great product if you use it for its intended purpose. You won't lose anything if you use this. You can also pathfind your products on supported iPhones. Number 16, the Apple Pencil 2nd generation. The Apple Pencil 2nd generation fixes every problem with the Apple Pencil 1st generation. It attaches magnetically to the top of your iPad and charges there as well. I thought having this flat power on top would make the writing experience uncomfortable, but I barely noticed it. Steve Jobs would be proud of this stylus. Number 15, the iPhone 13. I am using it right now to record this video. It's my camera at the moment, so I can't show you. The iPhone 13 is the best phone I have daily drive. It's a phone that everyone should buy unless they really want to use an illegal YouTube mod, which is why people use Android over iOS. 14. The MacBook Pro M1 14 inch. The MacBook Pro M1 Pro is really great for pros. It has a 120Hz ProMotion display, mini LED, and I would definitely want it if I did not have an Apple Silicon MacBook, but I would not get it to be honest. Number 13. The MacBook Pro M1 Max 14 inch. The MacBook Pro M1 Max is honestly too powerful. And the fact this is inside of a laptop is really amazing. Number 12, the Mac Mini M1. The fact that you can get an M1 chip for this cheap is really amazing to me. It is an incredible value if you already have a monitor, mouse, and keyboard. Number 11, the iMac M1. Let's say you don't already have a monitor, mouse, and keyboard. The M1 iMac is really amazing in 2022. It has an amazing display, nice quality camera, just stay in a better all-in-one computer. Also, the fact that you have a lot of color options to choose from is honestly really amazing. I just wish we have all these colors on the MacBook. Number 10, the Mac Studio M1 Mac. It is incredible that you can get this much performance inside of a Mac Studio. The fact that this is not that expensive is really incredible. It is a total steal if you have the money and need the power. Number 9, the Mac Studio M1 Ultra. If you need a lot of power, 
this really efficient computer has you covered. It is faster than an RTX 3090, and with Metal 3 come out, it'll finally be time to have a gaming Mac. Number 8, the iPhone 13 Pro. The iPhone 13 Pro is the best iPhone in my opinion. It has a ProMotion display, the best battery life in any smartphone besides the 13 Pro Max, world's fastest phone, and you cannot find a better phone anywhere else. Yes, the Nokia 3310 is a bad phone in durability compared to the iPhone 13 Pro, as it is the strongest phone ever created. Number 7, the AirPods Max. The AirPods Max are the over-the-ear AirPod Pros, with better noise cancellation, better battery life, and colors. What can make these AirPods better is if the price was significantly reduced $200 in. Six, the iPad Pro M1 11-inch. The iPad Pro M1 11-inch has ProMotion, exceptional performance, exceptional longevity, and really great value. Anyone considering upgrading the storage on the M1 iPad Air should consider this iPad instead. Number 5, the HomePod Mini. The HomePod Mini is a really amazing smart speaker. It works really well with my Apple TV and iPhone and the intercom feature is just revolutionary to any smart speaker. And comparing it to other smart speakers, all processing is on device. For example, what is zero divided by zero is processed on device and not sent to any servers, which means that voice does not get recorded at all. Number four, the Apple Watch Series 7. The Apple Watch Series 7 may have some gimmicky features that my Apple Watch doesn't have, but it has something that I would definitely use, the larger display, and it comes in many colors and finishes. Number 3, the AirPods Pros. The AirPods Pros are reasonably priced at Costco or other places. It offers all of the same features the AirPods Max has besides a better battery, and I sometimes even forget these are in my ears too. The MacBook Air M2. The MacBook Air M2 is nice, light, and a portable notebook with MagSafe. The M2 chip, 1080p webcam, and is the best MacBook for a lot of people, or most people. It also comes in a nice midnight color that I really like, and it has a new display, nice speakers and Apple managed to hide them and add spatial audio to them too. The keyboard design is also really nice and it looks like a compressed MacBook Pro. There is one Apple product that stands out from the rest. It has a special place in my heart and I use it every day. That Apple product is no other than number one, M1 MacBook Air. This is the best laptop I've ever used. Yes, even better than the M2 MacBook Air in my opinion. While it's not the latest MacBook, it was revolutionary when it came out. It made my old laptop slow, and even every Windows laptop on the market as well. Heck, it even made the previous generation MacBook Air slow. Before M1, we had Intel chips inside of the MacBook, and Intel was not innovating that much. So Apple decided to put their own Apple Silicon inside of the laptops. Apple managed to make these two laptops the best laptops in the world with benchmarks. Also, they made it the lightest portable notebook and making them really fast. The Apple MacBook Air looks really good in all colors from space gray, silver, to gold. Or should I say rose gold since it looks more like a rose gold to me. I plan on using my M1 MacBook Airs for as long as I can. The M1 MacBook Air will be the best Apple product unless it turns into the Apple Watch Series 3. Thank you for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, let me know what your favorite Apple product is, these are my favorite Apple products, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!